the most important tool that you have as an Upwork freelancer is your knowledge and your ability to write attention-grabbing proposals. Attention-grabbing proposals, these are proposals that attract and grab the attention of the client and also the technicality that helps you to stand out as a, client, as a, as a freelancer. That helps you to stand out as a freelancer. By the way, I almost forgot. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jesse Kamara. I am a full-time Upwork freelancer. I have been there for over a year and I've made my own mark. And the, today is day three of the Upwork Mentorship Program. So if you are watching this program for the first time, welcome. I want to give you one minute to take your time. Please support us and subscribe to this channel. I will appreciate you. You know, I will just give you a salute. All right, let's go. So now, um, writing a proposal, writing proposals on Upwork is one of those skill sets that most freelancers actually want other people to do for them. If you want to be successful, now you can, don't get me wrong, you can win jobs on Upwork even by writing crappy proposals. The only problem you have is you will not be able to win competitive jobs. And competitive jobs are those jobs that are highly paid, that are high, that have high rates. Okay, they pay very high. They pay very well. So if you want jobs that are paying twenty, thirty, forty, and so on, then you have to learn how to write proposals. And guess what? The skills and knowledge that is that you need to learn how to write proposals is actually at your disposal. Just write something that can differentiate you write something that surprises you yourself have you ever written something and when you come back maybe an hour later and read it and then you are really excited that you've written you cannot believe whether you are the one who wrote it i don't know whether you have faced that experience before but i have faced it i've actually written proposals after I got the invites. When I read the proposals again, I can't believe it. It's like somebody else wrote the proposal for me. Why do I get that feeling? Well, it's because when I read the job description, I really get um, grasped. Like the job description grasped me and I really want the job. Because I really want the job, I will go all out to really write proposals that grab the attention of the client. I will do everything possible because I'm so meticulous. I'm so careful about the way I lay the wordings, about the technical layout of the proposal because I want that job and I want to be the first person. I want to create that impression. By the way, I just got a client who reached out to me, you know, for a proposal. I wrote the proposal, I submitted it. And the client reached out to me and I'm still like in the process of doing some interview. So well, I'm not telling you crap. I'm, I'm actually telling you things that you can do that can change, that can turn things around for you. So today I'm going to show you step by step how you can, I'm going to show you some examples of proposals that can help you get started. Now, one thing I don't want you, I don't want you to get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. So to speak. I'm not going, I don't want you to copy the proposals that I'm, that, that I'm going to show you. If you do that, that's a mistake. I have said it before, I'm going to say it again. When writing proposals, always try to develop your own method. I have heard other people saying, oh, don't write templates, don't have proposal templates. Well, some people, might, it might not work for them, but for me, it has worked. Just that I have a couple, a couple of templates. I have written because I, when even the proposal that I'm re writing to apply for jobs, when I get an invite, that proposal, I'm, that proposal, I'm going to take a look at it and then develop it into something like a template that I keep. So if I see a job that is very similar, that is aligned with that particular a proposal, I'm going to take that proposal, clean it up, customize it for that job, and then submit. That's the way I do it, and it has worked. Now, don't get me wrong. I, not every job that I apply for, I get those jobs. No. Sometimes I have to send like five proposals before I get an invite. 
that is fine. And that is because even that's because I'm really good at writing proposals, guys. Even the best people that are that know how to write proposals still need to send a multiple proposals before they can get an invite. So it's not like something that is strange that you have to be called for every maybe sometimes you are overqualified. Maybe you, you that maybe you are more intelligent than even the client. So the client will not want to work with you. Sometimes it's just that the client is looking for somebody who is an entry level person. So there are many reasons why a client will not invite you. So you don't have to beat yourself to death. All right? What I want you to pay attention today is the psychology and the technical way how proposals are laid out. So let's get to my computer. Let's, let's, let's get started. So now I'm going to share my screen and then let's see. All right. So now we are on the first uh, proposal here. <clears throat> now, the first thing that I want to say is I have created a video wherein I went through proposal writing. There are three solid videos on this channel, and I want you to go and take a look at them. I explained some things there that I may not remember to explain in this video. So I want you to go and take a look at them so that you can solidify your knowledge and skills. What I want you to pay attention to is the method the psychology and the method of writing don't copy what i'm doing i'm just showing you samples this is not something that you have to copy this is something that just teaches you how to go and work on yourself and improve your writing style all right so here is an example of a proposal now one thing that you notice is i said hi there mostly i begin my proposals that way but one thing that you can do is actually to um, write the client's name. There is a way you can find the client's name on Upwork. So how do you do it? You go to the, when you click on the job, if you go at the bottom, you will see the client's history where the client has provided feedback for other um, um, freelancers. Check there and see if any of the freelancers who provided feedback for that client, if they mention the client's name. Sometimes they do mention the client's name so you can just get it and put it there. So you can just say like, Hi, Jesse, for instance, right? But normally I, I say, hey, there, if I don't know their name, right? But it also works. It does not mean that you have to write the client's name. But if you write their name, that is also something really catchy. It's very helpful. All right, so um, I'm Jesse. So I begin like, hi there, I'm Jesse. I've been a virtual assistant for the past two years for CEOs in big tech-related companies, both online and in person. My problem is that I am a perfectionist. So now I am trying to do, what I'm doing is this first line, let me just explain to you guys. This first line is very important in a proposal. If you don't know how to write, now you can spend one hour, two hours, three hours perfecting your first line of a proposal. The reason is, I'm not saying you should perfect that line for for your proposal now like let's say maybe there is a job now that you need to apply for then you spend two or three hours that's what i'm saying i'm saying write a couple of lines like this like four or five lines like this right just to introduce yourself when you have these lines always take, these are like the punchline they are like the hook all right this is a way to hook the client to pay attention to you because trust me the platform is super competitive and you want to stand out. You want to make sure when the client opens your proposal, you are there, you can hook them in the first few seconds. All right. And that's exactly what this proposal is about. So I have been a virtual assistant for the past two years, which shows that I, I am an experienced person, right? But what my problem is that I am a perfectionist. Most people will tell you that they want perfectionists, especially for a virtual assistant. You want somebody who is detail-oriented. That's why this proposal is say the problem that I have, one of my problems, one of my challenges is that I am a perfectionist. Rather. So if you give me a job, I would, I, would, I would do my best to do it to the best of the, my ability to make sure it is perfect. All right? A great, great at communicating. I am fluent in English and French. Problem solving and team builder. All right. So the person begins. My problem is that I am a perfectionist, a great, great at communicating. I am fluent in English and French. You see. So if somebody is looking for 
a virtual assistant and maybe their problem, maybe they have hired a virtual assistant before. That virtual assistant has been somebody who is missing a lot of details. And now somebody is telling them they are perfectionists. They want, they, they, they are detail oriented. There's, there's a lot in that world. All right. So the person will be interested to talk to them, right? Now look at the next line. I'm a bit of a nerd. All right. When it comes to establishing and maintaining processes, I am a bit of a nerd. Do you know what a nerd is? These are people like, this is something that they love. They give in their all, right? They basically become what they are doing. That's what it means. Like, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to establishing and maintaining all There is something only satisfying about dissecting, evaluating, and refining the gears that keeps the business humming. Do you see how it is both fun, attractive, interesting, and attracting? Like, it's, it's, it's intense, but also fun, right? Refining the gears that keep a business humming, keep a business running, keep a business on its feet. Do you see how, how intelligently the words are laid? All right? This is how you lay your... Like, when you write like this, the first thing is that you put... First of all, this is not chat GPT. The reason... How do you know that um, a proposal is chat GPT? How do you know that it sounds like chat GPT? Well, the only way you know is ChatGPT has a way of, the, the, like, it has, like, um, a group of words that is normally used, like, consistent words that ChatGPT uses. If you notice, if you have been using ChatGPT, you will notice that there is, a, like, a specific kind of words that ChatGPT uses to kind of, because they are not, ChatGPT is not human. So you just have, like, a few it has vocabulary is a way of coining things and that's how it does it all the time so whatever answer charges speaks for you that's the same answer they will speak for many other people similar answers even though my, the words might not be exactly the same they might not be laid exactly the same but if you look at the sentence it has similar words like a register okay let's move on so this is not something that somebody wrote from charity even if they did but this is something that is unique. They must have given ChatGPT a prompt that is really specific. All right. Here is my philosophy. Another line. Here is my philosophy. Here is my mantra. Here is my way, my values. Here is what defines me. Streamlining admin and virtual assistant tasks are not just about efficiency. Okay. Streamline, sorry. Streamline admin and virtual assistant, not just. They free up bandwidth for creativity, innovation, and growth for my clients and I. Do you see how? Here is my philosophy. Here is, here is what I believe in. Here is what, is, what, what, what I have internalized over my experience. Let's get your calendars, emails, and admin tasks out, out of the, weed, the, the weeds and into the blue sky. With a keen eye for automation, I can help. Turn your time consuming manual processes into a smooth, self running system. More time for you and your team to focus on what they do best and less time wrestling with clunky emails and so on. I am keen to hear from you. Get in touch and let's chat about how I can help you achieve your goals. Do you see how short, sharp, and eloquent this proposal sounds? Now, here is my, my assignment to you guys. All right. Now, here is my assignment to you guys. I want you to go <laughs> look at the, the, this proposal. Now, sit down. Look at your domain or your category where you belong or your specialization. Develop five solid introductory statements. And then look at the method that this person used to write their proposal. And then craft your own method. I don't say you should copy. Learn what they've, wrote, they've written. How, first of all, what, what was the first thing that they focused on? What was the second thing? And what was the last thing? That method. They talked about their experience. They talked about, about their philosophy and so on. Who that dissects the, 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 the proposal and then develop a method of writing your own proposal. That's exactly, that's assignment one for you. Go and do it and do it for five proposals. 
intensify it. Take it very serious. Take it as if you are going to sit, you are going to take a, a public examination and do it, give it all your time. You will see how that will change your mind. And by the way, thank you to all of those guys that have been giving us shout outs for watching these videos, that, those guys that have watched these videos and that are making it right now on Upwork. Thank you very much. I'm happy for you guys. That is, you are those guys that are really taking the, you are taking the time to work on what we are saying. And this is really, really making me happy because at least I'm, be, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting, I'm helping one or two people out there. Of course, this, this content I'm providing is not for everyone. Most people will not be able to go and sit and do the work. Because for some of you guys that are putting in the work, and I'm telling you, I'm challenging you, that if you keep putting the work, even if you have not won a job, I know you are going to make it in a month or two. And you come back, please go post the comments when you get your first job. And I'll be super excited. And that is going to encourage other people to share this content. And don't be selfish. Share this content with other people and hit that subscribe button. That shows that you appreciate the work that we are doing. And we continue to give you some good content. All right? So now let's go to the next proposal. So the next proposal is uh, proposal number two. So now here is also a very short sure proposal. <clears throat> it's not like um, some kind of rocket science. This is not rocket science. It's just another format in which, now this is what I'm saying, you, you innovate, right? This is how you innovate in your proposal writing. You don't go there and start uh, just writing anything that you feel like writing. Innovate in the way you write. All right? Okay, so here is it. I'm excited. So you can start your letter, your letter by saying, say things like, hi there, or you can say, hi, Jesse. Maybe you know my names. Maybe I might send an, an, uh, <laughs> a job out there and you want to apply. So you can just uh, use my name, all right? Let me take some more. So you can say, I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your mission-driven work as a developer, all right? I am excited to contribute to your mission, to your goal, to your business goals. I am excited to contribute to the growth of your business. Do you see the way you lay out these words? To the growth of your business. After, and you can only write this sentence once you have read the adverts. You've understood the problem of the client. And that's where everything starts. Everything begins. Understanding the problem. What problem is the client trying to solve? And how can I help the client? That is the question that you have to ask yourself. Guys, people are spending money on you. And they want you to help them solve problems. All right? So you have to understand. So this person begins with a mission-driven statement. All right? I would say something like, um, your advert grabbed my attention, especially the, the it grabs my attention and it perfectly aligns with my experience. I am excited to contribute to the growth of your business. I bring seven years of experience, of product management experience. Oh my God, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm giving you leakage. I'm actually reading from my proposals that I normally write to people, to clients. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm basically giving you the, 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 from the script, from the original. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, the thing is, you can see some of these proposals, they already like, like I memorized them. I, I, I don't actually memorize them. I just understand them. I know how they are structured because I've spent hours, weeks writing <laughs> these proposals understanding them because I, I want to make sure I can actually speak to the pain points of the client. That's the point. Speaking to the pain points of the client. All right. So let's go. With a passion for creating web and mobile apps to facilitate online transactions, I believe my skills align perfectly with your requirements. Now, let me give you one secret. Most people don't know how to write proper proposals and most people will not watch this video to the end. So for if you are still watching, it means you are somebody who is really serious and you really want to practice. Don't go and sit down. Go back and work on this. And if you work on it, I'll tell you, you start getting jobs. <laughs> All right. So keep going. 
because I'll be showing you how to even go to an interview and crack that interview open. There is no one who can compete with you if you follow my method of interview. All right, here is a snapshot of what I bring to the table. You see the way the person, here is a snapshot. This is quite different from what somebody wrote the, the previous um, proposal, right? Here is a snapshot of what I bring to the table. The first link to, to app, right? First of all, provide the link to the app, the name of the app. I'll, I'll add something here like the name, name of app, okay? Provide the name of the app about what's, what, what's this app about? This is a developer applying, right? So you can give the name of the app. What's the app about? If, you, if there is confidentiality issues, you don't need to mention the app. If the app is available online, just give that, that link there, all right? And then you can see XX is an e-commerce website where users buy, blah, blah. Just give a short statement. Don't go and give all of the essay. Just a short statement. Just one line, all right? So what tech did you use? You could give the tech stack. And also, what was your role? Were you a front-end developer? Were you a back-end developer? Were you a business analyst? Were you a project manager or project coordinator or a virtual assistant? What did you do? It's critical. All right. So the next thing is you can also see the next, the same format. Now you can give two or three examples. Now you can see all of my proposals, they are very short to the point. And that is because most clients have a lot of work to do. So they don't need to read long proposal. They just want to get the key point. That's why you have to make it sharp and to the point, very concise, precise, because you want to hit the nail on the head and then get that in, invite immediately. Now, you can see here, it's very short. Now, the last part is, I am open to offer a free 30 minutes consultation to discuss my experience as well as learn more about your... Now, what does this line do to the client? Now, this tells the client that you are an expert and you, are, you don't have time to waste. However, you want to give them 30 minutes of your time. And it's a consultation. You want to have a discussion. If they are willing, they can reach out to you. So the client will know you are a professional, you are an expert, and they will not take you for granted. Now, let's move on to the next proposal that we have on our list. The next proposal is also like um, an interesting one, and it's very similar to, um, I think, all right, no. So the next proposal, this is the next proposal, actually. <laughs> I was still looking at the same proposal. All right. <clears throat> so, so yes, so now let's move on to the next proposal which is just like another additional example that I wanted to show you guys, all right? So by now, you must have um, understood the, the approach of writing proposals, right? So hi there, the first thing is, hi there. First of all, please have a look at my previous work. Now, here is um, some clients, for instance, they might not write much on their adverts. However, they send you, they still want you to send a proposal and maybe the job looks attractive. The client has a, a verified payment and so on. Then you can write something like this. You don't need to write much. You can see clearly that the client does not have time. So you have to go straight to the point. So first of all, I want to share with you my previous work. And then you give um, this way of giving like links to your previous work. It's not bad, but I would say I would prefer you put it in, in this method. We are in, you put the, the, the link to the app, the name of the app and so on. You put it in this order. It is more organized and more structured, all right? However, some people do it this way. I can definitely help you implement content updates, ensure brand consistency, and optimize the user experience on your website. So this is based on what the client has already asked for on the job adverts. And this is, these proposals are actually proposals based on adverts that, are, that I've seen on Upwork, all right? So... Um, I have immense experience in building, blah, 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 and so on. So this is a basic proposal. This is a proposal that I would say um, you can take note of this proposal and see whether you can go and improve it. If you can, you can do this as an assignment and send it to my email. For some of you guys, if you can do this, then I will look at your proposal. Probably I'll be able to comment on it or I'll tell you where which areas to improve if I have time. To be honest, this is something that I can really, I can, I, I will not promise whether I will be able to do it for you. But I will say this is like an example of a proposal that is not 100% perfect, but you can take a look at it and see whether you'll be able to improve it. So guys, 
So guys, there you have it. All right. So we've looked at proposals. I have kind of made some videos on proposals. I will add those links to this video as well. And also pin a comment for those videos so that you can take a look at them and see if you can go and solidify your knowledge. The idea is about listening to what I'm saying and learning the psychology that you have to think about when writing your proposal. These are critical things, all right? Guys, I'm not hiding anything from you. And I used to say this. I am honestly, I genuinely want you to be successful. And I, I will always be saying this because I, I want you, when you are successful, I know you will come back and give back to the channel by one, sharing the content and liking our, our videos, sharing it, and also following us on our social media um, platforms. It's very important if you can do this, we we'll appreciate that because this is important. We are building a community and we want you to be part of this community. When you are successful, you can even come and donate to the, to the channel one day. Say, guys, I want to give you something because you've, you've done something, like you've, you, you've given something to me that, are, that, that probably somebody will take thousands of dollars from, my, from me just for me to learn those things. That is perfect. That is something that you can appreciate because we really want to improve these videos I want to make them better, but I also want to be your mentor, somebody that you can rely on because we want to provide reliable information. Thank you very much and see you in day four and looking forward to that topic. All right. Keep watching. Stay tuned.